Three big setbacks are adding strain to the already existing traffic concerns in Chapin. I-26 construction, Gator Bowl travel, travel and holiday travel. News 19's Rachel Ripp shares tips for the South Carolina Department of Transportation and what locals are experiencing. Traffic. And now throw in holiday travel, Gator Bowl travel, and highway construction. Chapin residents tell me they're already dealing with a boom of population growth overflowing their roads. And this week, it's gotten worse. We have been in so many slowdowns where we sat on the freeway for, you know, half an hour while they were doing construction. And I understand they're trying to fix it and make it better, but they're, it's, a happy medium. Jackie says there's nowhere for cars to go when an accident happens on I-26. However, according to the South Carolina Department of Transportation, there are openings where it's safe to pull over. Those are in the emergency lanes and areas in the construction zone where barriers have been moved or construction is finished. The accidents that we've seen have also created more of a standstill. Manny Collins, a Chapin resident, shared these photos with me she took earlier this week while sitting in bumper to bumper traffic. These are two people playing lacrosse on the side of the highway waiting for traffic to move. During the holidays, you got a lot of retirees up here and uh, only time we get a lot of traffic is when something's going on in 26. Other locals say although it's frustrating to sit through, you will eventually get to where you're going. Everything is hustling and bustling and you kind of you kind of have to love the charm in that too because everybody's out there for the same same purpose. Um, uh, but yes, it definitely has increased traffic wise, business wise, people people traffic wise, accidents, the whole thing, but you just kind of have to take things in stride and just you know, expect it because it is that time of the year. Reporting in Chapin, Rachel Ripp, News 19 WLTX.